Hello everyone, welcome back to the new episode of our tutorial series on web application with Oracle. In the previous episode, we have successfully added trigger to add validation where we check whether the expired date was earlier than manufacture date or not and if the expired date was earlier than manufacture date, we raised a custom error message. And in this episode, we will track the activities of user and save it in our logs table. So without further ado, let's move to our tutorial. So log into your Apex Oracle Apex and here to track the user activity and save it in our table, we need to create a log table. So let's go to our SQL script and create our log table. So I'll click on create and let's give its name at create log table and let's write a code to create table. So create table tbl underscore logs and let's give parenthesis and inside here first thing we need is a log id for primary key log underscore id it will be a number and let's give its length as 10 and it cannot be null because it will be a primary key so not null and then tbl underscore name we will be saving uh, the table name because we want to track which activity was performed on which table and it will be uh, we are care 2 sorry we are care 2 and let's give its length as 100 and then uh, we'll be adding action we will also save the action like uh, which action was performed on certain table like insert or update or delete so action and it will also be per care 2 and its length will also be 100 and the last one will be date so when was that certain action performed on certain table so we will also save date so it will be date and its uh, date, date type will be date let's not have the same name let's give it as add date underscore date so added date will be date and we do not need a uh, comma at the last and here we will add semicolon and here we need to specify or add the primary key as well so alter table tbl underscore logs add constant and constant name will be primary key underscore log underscore id and constant name is primary key and primary key we are adding on log underscore id that's it and then we need to create a sequence and trigger to add auto increment value on our primary key so create sequence sequence underscore log underscore id start with one increment by one no cache sorry no cache will be on same line and no cycle no cache no cycle that's it and semicolon and we will also create a trigger uh, to add that auto increment value from sequence into our log id column so create or replace tri trigger trigger underscore tbl underscore logs and before insert before insert on tbl underscore logs uh, for each row begin and here new dot log underscore id and then uh, colon is equals to sequence dot next val so sequence is sequence log id sequence uh, dot 
next val that's it sequence dot next val that's it and at the end end so that's it uh, this is the table logs tbl logs to store the user activity uh, in our application and we have added a primary key for log id and created a sequence to generate auto increment value and created a trigger to insert that auto increment value in our log id so let's save it and create it so i'll click on create button to create it and our sql script is created and let's run it i'll click on run and let's click on run now and here we had uh, four sql statement and four of them were processed and four of them were successful so we have successfully created our table logs and ready to insert our user activity so let's go to app builder and let's add a page to display user activity as a list as well so i'll just go to online store and here let's create a page so let's click on create page and let's click on report we only need report we will only be displaying the report and we do not need to add or update uh, this uh, log value so we will only we will be only displaying the value from table so we won't be selecting interactive report uh, interactive grid factor sort etc we will only be using classic report so select classic report and page number is okay so page name will be uh let's say logs let's give logs as its name and breadcrumb uh, breadcrumb logs okay and click on next and uh, let's create a navigation menu click on navigation menu and logs okay let's click on next and let's select our table name so i'll click on this icon and here our table will be tbl underscore logs so that's it and let's click on create button so we have successfully created a page to display our tbl logs as a report or as a list view and let's check our page so i'll just click on run button and this will be our page its name is report one but no data found because we have not uh, created a trigger to track the activity and insert the activity in our tbl logs so now we will be creating a trigger to uh, capture the activity of user like insert update and delete and we will insert automatically those data into our tbl logs so let's go to sql workshop and let's click a new sql script so i'll click on sql script and let's create a new sql script i'll click on create button and let's give its name its name will be like trigger to capture capture user activity so that's it and then we will create a trigger let's give a, a comment so trigger to capture user activity and insert on logs table so let's create a table uh, let's create a trigger create a replace trigger and trigger name will be trg underscore uh, user activity and then uh, before and this time we will be cap capturing the user activity after the action is done like after inserting after operating or after tilting so here we will use after now so after uh, a f t e uh, after insert or update or delete and then on table name will be product we will add this uh, trigger on product table so tbl underscore product and for each row begin begin and here we will add condition uh, for every action like if 
uh, inserting what we will do what value we will add on table or uh, if updating what value we will insert on tbl log etc so if deleting if deleting then we will add insert data in tbl underscore log so we will write the query insert into tbl underscore logs and we will give the column name column name is tbl underscore name we do not have to give a primary key column which is log id and then tbl name and then action and then added underscore date so that's it and then we will give values uh, so this action is taken into tbl product so this will be the table name because we are adding this trigger on tbl product and so the action are being taken on action like inserting updating or deleting are being taken on tbl underscore product and the action is this is delete delete and added date will be sysdate so this is date function will automatically capture the date of your current system and then if condition ends here e end if that's it we can indent it like this and it will be clear so uh, this is one condition like if deleting if delete action is being done then data will be inserted into tbl logs where we, we are adding the values like tbl name action and added date so tbl product is because this trigger is for tbl product and we are capturing actions for tbl product and what action is being done it is being done delete action delete action is being performed and we are also capturing current date similarly we also uh, need to create a condition for our update and insert so let's create a new function for a uh, new condition for our update if updating then we will also insert value so inserting values in tbl underscore logs and we will write the query insert into tbl underscore logs and here we need to give our I will just copy and paste this one so code is same all we need to change is our action value let's copy insert into I'll paste it here so tbl name tbl table is same table and but action is this is update action and this will get the current date and time so I will copy once again this one let's in this condition so it will be a and int if that's it now the last one is uh, inserting the values while inserting a new product so i'll just copy it and paste it at the bottom here and here the condition is on inserting while inserting into tv inserting while inserting uh, action is done on tbl underscore product we will add the value on tbl logs and its action is insert that's it and if and at the end we will end the whole trigger so this will end the trigger this ends the insert condition this ends updating condition this in deleting condition so this is the trigger which will uh, automatically insert data into our tbl logs whenever insert update or delete action is being performed on our tbl underscore product so let's save this trigger and run it and let's check whether the functionality works or not i just created it let's click on run button and let's click on run now so statement process one successful one so we have successfully added our trigger to capture and insert a log or user activity in our log table so let's go to our app builder 
and let's uh, go to our app which is online store and let's run our application and this is our application and remember all of those log are being captured from our product table it was the trigger was uh, created for product table so it will capture the actions uh, performed on product table only so for now let's go to logs table first so we don't have any value so i'll go to product table and i will try to delete one of these so let's delete samsung tv and let's click on delete so delete now okay so our samsung tv is deleted now let's go to logs table so here we have our first log which is table name is tbl product on product delete actions was done and we have also date which is added date is current date and time so that's it let's also add a new product and let's check whether uh, it captures insert action or not so i'll go with this time i'll go with food let's give its name as pizza just give its name as hawaiian pizza i know the name is not correct let's be it so quantity let's give two and manufacture date will be uh, 20th april and expiry date let's give uh, may 2nd and let's click on create button so our product is created let's go to logs table and here we have another log which is insert similarly let's check it for update so i'll go to products let's update one of let's go to burger i'll update burger and let's give its quantity to let's give, decrease the quantity i'll change it to three and apply changes i think it's changed the quantity is three let's go to logs and now we have three different actions delete also captured insert also captured and update also captured so this is it guys we have successfully uh, created a trigger to capture the user activity and insert it in our log table so this is it and in the next episode we will uh, create a dashboard to display different types of charts uh, with graphs like pie chart or line chart or bar graph etc so thanks so much for watching if you like this video then don't forget to like share and subscribe and if you have any confusion related to this video, then don't forget to comment. I'll reply as soon as possible. And I'll see you on next episode. Till then, stay safe, take care, see you soon, bye-bye.